hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening good day from wherever you're watching me from so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys three things to know before having a hysterectomy so i'll be sharing my own experience with the hysterectomy so my name is sasha and if you're new to my channel welcome to limbex channel and if you're a regular watcher thank you so much for stopping by again so let's jump right into it so the first thing to know before having um, your hysterectomy is that there are different types of hysterectomy so in my case i had a total hysterectomy so what's a total hysterectomy a total hysterectomy is where the surgeon removes um, your uterus and your cervix but in many cases as well especially where the area is affected by endometriosis which i will be making another video explaining more about endometriosis to you guys because i'm sure endometriosis is a disease that not many people know of so i would like to shine a light on endometriosis so especially where the area is affected by endometriosis the surgeon may remove your fallopian tubes and um, your um your ovaries as well and he could actually remove some of your abdominal organs so in my case because i had a radical hysterectomy so the surgeon removed my uterus my um my uterus, my cervix, my fallopian tubes, my ovaries, and I also had a bowel and bladder repair. So bear in mind, know that there are different kinds and um, types of hysterectomy. You know, there um, is partial hysterectomy where maybe the surgeon will just remove just your ovaries or your, um, your uterus or your cervix or whatever. But when you have uh, the, comp the total hysterectomy, there's a chance that they could also remove your fallopian tubes and all that. You know what happens when your ovaries get removed? Because we know that the ovaries are what makes your estrogen genes and estrogens are what make helps make you helps keep you healthy as you age so imagine when you don't have your estrogens that's when you start feeling all them signs of like achy body achy joints and all them things to do with that so yeah so know that they are different types of hysterectomy so the surgeon rarely perform a total hysterectomy so but don't let that bother you leave all that to your surgeon your surgeon will decide what's best for you so make sure you do your research before you have your hysterectomy you need to give your body time to recover not just physically you also need to recover mentally because um, this is one thing that I wish I knew before I had my complete my total hysterectomy but because in my case I had an emergency um, radical surgery so I didn't really have the time to like learn I didn't really have time to study and research about the surgery I was still like you know when you're in denial that this is going to happen so yeah so I was in denial and I didn't have much time because like I said I had emergency um, so, um, surgery so that's why I decided to make this video because unfortunately I didn't have time to research about my surgery in full detail give yourself time to recover both physically and mentally because you may think it's um one rule fits all no it's not so your body heals in different ways so give yourself time to recover not just physically but mentally as well because this surgery is a very big surgery and it can take a toll on you so you need to give yourself time to recover don't let anyone push you into recovering quick don't let don't let anyone push you or give you that pressure that you have to recover and be yourself again because you would have to learn your new normal just like in my case like i keep saying to my family is that i'm learning my new normal it's it's a big procedure is what you'll be having regardless if it's a partial hysterectomy or if it's a total hysterectomy it's a big procedure because sometimes this procedure could be um abdominal um, um they could cut you abdominally is that what you call it Ad abdominal incision 
or you could have laparoscopy it could be whatever kind of it's still a major surgery where you'll be put under the the is it anesthesia anesthetic anesthetic you'll be put under the anesthetic sorry i'm not a medical practitioner me i'm just saying based on my own experience so yeah you'll be put under the anesthesia anesthetic anesthetic if that makes sense yeah you get what i mean so yeah you'll be put under so it's a big procedure so you need to give your body time to recover it's not just your physical health that would may be impacted it's also your mental health so speak to a healthcare provider about how you're feeling you know i never really got that as well because after my surgery it felt like i was left to my own device to research about my new normal so yeah so please make sure you talk to your healthcare providers about how you feel after your surgery or even before your surgery make sure you talk to people L be prepared for what you're about to have because this is a big thing you know removing a part of your body it's not a small procedure so regardless like i mean when you even have your teeth pulled out do you get like it's painful so imagine having one part of your body your organs or whatever removed it's a big deal or even have them opening you up and you know taking things out and stuff like that like my mom actually said to me that it's different because i used to say how come when people have cesarean they get better very quick after giving birth but then i'm struggling and she was like no 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 this they're just taking out a baby but your case they are removing things that used to be in your body do you get what i mean so she was like it's a different procedure it's a different you know it's a whole different ball game from having a cesarean she says to me so that's how she actually explained it to me is that don't be hard on yourself and just take your time to get better like i said talk to anyone you feel comfortable about before the surgery and after the surgery just keep bothering anyone because if you don't bother people and you don't get your head in the right frame of mind it will catch up with you eventually don't do i am very tough and strong i don't need any help please ask for help because your body needs time to recover because like i said also if you're having a total hysterectomy you will be having your body changes so your body will change after the surgery depending on if you're having a partial hysterectomy or a total hysterectomy so imagine if you have a total hysterectomy your body changes where you automatically have um, surgically induced menopause so you know what happens with menopause if you don't please watch my other videos where i've explained a little bit about life when you have the menopause so go there and just watch and i'll make more videos as well about my journey with the menopause so imagine your body changes as well so it's a whole new life you're getting so don't be scared i will leave another video telling you guys positive things about having the hysterectomy so it's not all dark and gory and all that and the final one is if you wanted to have kids speak to your doctor about what are your options after you've had your hysterectomy so before you have the hysterectomy you need to find out if there's an option for you to um, have your eggs frozen or what is your options because in my case like i said it was already too late and there was nothing else they could do but fortunately i do have an embryo stored just one embryo but you never know what could happen in future so yeah so find out from your doctor if there's an option for you to have your eggs frozen so that maybe at a later stage you can have a surrogate or you can figure out what to do with the eggs that's if you actually wanted to have kids but if you didn't want to have kids then you know you can just go ahead and have your hysterectomy but it also depends as well on your circumstance because there are so many things that can um make you have a hysterectomy um but the one the two things that my doctor actually made me understand is that 
I could not get away from having my hysterectomy because I had endometriosis and fibroids. So those two things would make eventually you would have to have the hysterectomy because apparently endometriosis and fibroids will keep coming back again and again and again. So beware. Take notes that if you're going, if you're suffering from endometriosis and fibroids, the chances are they will come back again and again and again. I didn't know this the first time I had my surgery because I've had multiple surgeries before the surgery. So I would leave another video, like I said, explaining this disease called endometriosis because it's one, one, one painful, one painful disease that I would not want to wish on anyone. If you know that you're, you're suffering from endometriosis and fibroids, then unfortunately, like my doctor said, there's nothing else they can do. I just have to have the surgery. And if I hadn't had the surgery, I don't know what that means. So, yeah, so that's it for today's random. And also, don't forget to share this video. Please, please, please share this video because like I always say, let's create an awareness of issues that are not really spoken about all the time. So please share this video. I want it to reach as much people as possible. And if you're finding value to the video, you can give it a thumbs up actually makes me feel good when I see people watch my videos it actually makes me feel like people actually want to listen to me so thank you so much for watching my videos you guys are actually my therapy even though I don't know most of you so yeah you're my therapy because by me making all these videos it's empowering me it's giving me something to look forward to it really really make my day if you leave a comment let me know what you make of the video and um, I will see you guys on the next video I know I keep saying this my mom always says smile she likes my gap too so yeah try and keep smiling regardless of what life throws at us my mom always say try to smile just smiling helps make things better so yeah so that's why i keep saying keep smiling so keep smiling and you all stay positive and i'll see you guys on the next video